It happened guys, it is finally time, time to mod the best Fallout game out there, that is Fallout 76. <laughs> Let's do this again. Today we are modding the best Fallout game ever created from Bethesda, which Obsidian really made it. Bethesda just took the bottle caps and that's Fallout New Vegas, the best RPG in my opinion that it's out there. With that being said, let's begin. So you want to mod Fallout New Vegas. That's a fantastic news, that means you are based. Modding Fallout New Vegas has both a blessing and a curse. The blessing is that there is only few handful mods you really need. The curse is that modding in Fallout New Vegas sucks balls, and not in a good way, if you know what I mean. In this mod list, we are not going to use CNB, we are going to enhance the game, to be stable, to not have any crashes, to be performance friendly, and not turn Fallout into a different game. Because Fallout New Vegas is a beautiful game, and you don't really want to destroy the atmosphere. Atmosphere of it. Grab a Nuka Cola, grab a chair and your pre war suit and sit down and enjoy the video. After this intro, guys, I'm going to jump into modding the game. This is going to be a new series, so if you like those series, hit a like, throw a sub. Only 4.7% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel. I will appreciate it if more of you show the support. If you enjoy this type of content, you will help me find my audience. You need to go first on your Steam, locate your Fallout New Vegas, and the very first thing you want to do, and this is very important. And today we are doing the basics when it comes to it. So make sure if you want to mod your Fallout to do exactly what I'm doing and any questions you have, feel free to ask me down below. Go and find your local files. You can find your local files, selecting Fallout New Vegas, go to Manage and Bros Local Files. You want to grab everything and literally delete it. Once you've deleted everything, you want to go to Fallout New Vegas, go to Manage and uninstall the game and then install it again. That is going to fix anything you've done wrong when it comes to your ini files with the textures and things like that so after you've done all of this crap let's actually go and mod the game together after you install fallout new vegas the very very first thing you want to do is to click the play button and you want to go ahead and click play because you want your game to generate the ini files that means the ini files are generated now you can download the mod organizer of your choice so the very first mod you need to grab is the fallout 4 4 GB patcher and you want to download this very file right here and manually download it. We want to extract this and put it into our game. The problem with Fallout New Vegas is that it is using only 2 GB of RAM. The engine is prehistoric, pretty much like everything Bethesda is doing. So with this patch we will be able to run 4 GB of RAM. Go ahead and open the file that you've got. You want to find it here. After you extract the file, grab the Fallout New Vegas patch and throw that shit in your Fallout New Vegas folder. Now, I have done this already. Go ahead and click it. You're gonna press a key, it's gonna run something and it's gonna tell you Fallout New Vegas is ready patched. You have successfully installed the 4GB patcher. You are going to need the most important mod, the New Vegas Script Extender. Similarly, you want to manually download this. So go ahead and click manually download. We are going to extract everything from it in our folder. Open the New Vegas Script Extender. Go ahead and extract it and you want to grab literally everything inside the folder everything you see and move it inside your game you will always need to run fallout new vegas with your script extender never run fallout new vegas with the exe never run it through steam if you are going to click that you're gonna get the message that the script extender on the bottom left has successfully been installed next you're going to go to your data folder and i know it looks a little bit messy but you're going to click new and create a completely new folder the new folder you need to rename it nvsc and you want to click on that you are going to create a new text document like this and you are going to name it nvsc config full dot ini i will have this on the description copy paste it let it do the change and then you want to open this and you are going to copy memory and then default heap initial all ocmb equal 400 i will have this again in my description ignore everything else 
else you see here this is because my game is fully modded and running save it close it and you are good to go next you want to go and grab the fallout new vega stick fix and you just want to go to the files click mod manager and just install it to your mod manager this is going to remove this horrible starter go and grab the uk unofficial patch this is essentially the skyrim special edition unofficial patch it keeps getting updated to this day as you can see and it fixes performances it includes so many small mods into one file it is just a must you just want to go and grab your base game and all dlc if you own all of the dlc grab only the main file and install it then you want to go and grab zip ln i have no idea what this is uh, but you want to go here and install that those next mods are important for bug fixes and everything like that go ahead and click mod manager and install this to the mod manager of your choice then you want to go and grab else to a tweaks and this is another one of those bug fixing mods i will recommend you to get first of all the main file over here it is very important to install those one by one don't go and download multiple mods let the mods be downloaded one by one especially if you're not using mod manager install the main file and after it downloads i like to have the perk per level which is something i personally use you don't care about that and then go and get the else 2 x in the file let all of those overrun each other then you want to go and get else 2 way engine optimization it is a must mod to have go ahead and download this and on top of that you want to grab its requirement which is actor cause save plot fix and install that one then go and grab the unofficial patch nvsc plus and install that as well and then go and grab sony guitar extremely important go ahead and click mod manager and install that and with these guys we've managed to install most of the bug fixing modes that you need those are the essentials if i may after you install everything sort your lot order i like using loot and it's time to move into some other modes go and grab user interface organizer this is something that we're going to need for many of the most important modes to take place so it is very important to download this go to the files download it and you should be fine with that then go and install nvank new vegas anti crash and install that one as well i'm going to put some textures inside the game next show you how to generate the lot gen in fallout which is super easy actually i wish skyrim was that easy and then show you what we're going to use to enhance our game go to the nmc texture pack go and grab the very first file here install it and after you install it then install the part 2 and after part 2 is installed then install part 3 the reason i'm telling you this is if you're going to install all of those together and somehow the priority messes itself of which part gets downloaded first you will get broken graphics and your game will look as bad as me when i wake up in the morning and look myself at the mirror you can go for the medium pack if you want both of the two packs are very good after you install those three main files go ahead and get the optional files or the update files get the naval chair fix get the patch for all size packs get the water tower clark country fix and also get the patch for the monitor you have i'm having a 1k monitor so i'm using 16 with 9 ratio and if you're using and only if you're using the medium size go ahead and grab this one as well it makes the wasteland feel like a wasteland it doesn't make things look clean and this is what we want we want everything to look like the aftermath of an orc attack then you need to go to the ojo bueno pack and you need to get the ojo bueno texture pack on high do not get the ultra one it's going to make your game run out of vram because remember we are allowed to use only four gigabytes of ram go to the update files and grab the ojo bueno vetting machine high as well and install that then go and grab the high resolution water fog water anti aliasing and go ahead and install this because we are not going to use any nb something extra i forgot guys go and click play on your steam and go through your options since we're not going to use any nb use hdr go to the advanced settings and click everything i have open because we are not going to use any nb we are going to be able to use all of those features click exit and that should be good to go let's start with generating the load and this is going to be very tricky but follow me on this first of all you need to go to the load gen right here go to the files manually download the fn load gen 3 to 1 we're going to extract that and we're going to run it with our mod manager go to the second file and download this with your mod manager then go and grab both of the optional files here and click the mod manager and download them after you are done go ahead and extract the fn load gen as you can see here and you can either run this manually what i will recommend you to run this with 
the mod manager of your choice. Once you have this open, you are going to run it right here. Give it a few seconds to generate everything. It's gonna take quite some time, so don't be afraid. And you're gonna have this show up. Go to the left panel here, right click and click select all. On the options here, do not touch anything at all and have the exact same options as I'm having here and click generate. It's gonna take quite a long time to generate all of those and it's going to have a message to you that the background loader has been finished. Now that you have successfully downloaded F and load Gen, let's actually fix all of the horror lot we are getting in the game. Go and grab TSM's load overhaul, download it using the mod manager of your choice and let it download. All of those are working perfectly together. Next go and grab load additions and improvements and this is going to fix things that all of those load mods that we are getting are missing so it's supplementing each other. Click mod manager download and get that as well. Then we have the more load additions and fixes. Go click files and download this one as well. Then go for the end NMC pre-generated lot updated in case you are using the NMC texture pack which we are using that and we want this to show on the lot. Go on the files and download the second file over here. Then we have the different lot modes, little tweaks and additions. Download this one as well. Go and get FNV lot supplementation. Then we are having the FNOT LED texture patches. I can relate with this picture. Let's say way too much. Go and grab only the main file over here. We are almost done guys. Go to the Nat Vegas landscape and the only reason we need this is for the roads. It makes the roads have this Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 aesthetic into it. I would recommend you to grab the medium file but you can grab the high, it doesn't really matter. I like to use the medium one because I'm afraid of the 4GB of RAM we have to use which is why I go for the medium. It still looks amazing and it has no performance hit. While the first one does run 4K and if you have watched my channel I don't like 4K text. Go and grab the Nut Raw Canyon Lot Edit and download that to generate the lots for those roads. Then go and grab the mod configuration menu, download the main mod, let it get installed and once it gets installed then download the MCM bug fix and override. Go into your game and check if the mod configuration works. If the mod configuration mod doesn't work, delete it and do it again. Load your game, check how it looks and now we are going for the ultimate enhancement which is made by the man, the myth, the legend gopher which is the og what this here does a graphic overhaul that instead of using enb it is going to use a performance friendly reset which is going to make the game look as you see in the pictures and as you have seen in my videos as well the first thing we need to get grab the smooth reset that he recommends manually download it and once you manually have downloaded that you're going to open the file grab the file over here and the thing you have to do is literally just drag and drop it inside your files. Now you have the smoother reset that Goff recommends inside your game. You need to go and download the reset. I will put the link in the video description. You want to run the reset. You want to select the game of your choice. You want to select Fallout New Vegas. I'm using Windows 10 so I'm going for the middle option here. I already have a reset installed but I'm going to do this with you just to show you how it works. Go click the update and here comes the important part. Go ahead and click the sweet FX and click it where it has a tick effect not a square go and click the third option and the ashtray as well i also go for the fx shader and the legacy standard effect so click all of those click ok and that will update your reset if you have any questions about it you can ask me down in the comment section you're going to go back to dynavision 3 go to files and click mod manager and download it through your mod manager and now follow me as we're going to go into the game and show you how to set this thing. Always open your Fallout New Vegas with your script extender like I did. So I'm gonna go out and show you how this looks. If this looks too overwhelming it's because this is my full modded Fallout New Vegas. It is not going to look like this when you're in. But as you can see the reset already works. The load generation looks fantastic. There is no weird buggy textures, nothing going wrong and everything looks as it should. Let me show you how to set the DynaVision. Go ahead to the DynaVision through your mod configuration and you need to set a key. And go ahead and press the key you've put and you have this option with your arrow keys as you can see 
you can go and set this up. It's a filter type of thing, but it does not count as an ENB, which means it is going to give you the vanilla experience without all of the negatives an ENB gives, and trust me, an ENB is going to destroy your game. So here there's a bunch of cinematic options and filters you can use. I do love the Mojave Burning, because I think this looks the best, because it gives that desert feeling to fall out. The downside option is the exact same, you can mix and match, and you can change those, by the way, anytime you want, and it's very performance friendly as well. And as you can see, the moment I zoom in, you have the depth of field, and if you deactivate it, do you see in the back? Now it's on, now it's off. This gives this nice feeling that every time you focus, the depth of field hits in the distance, and that also helps with low generation. This is the very high. You can hardly see what is happening in the back, but it's like the Nazim of all at New Vegas. The Dynavision is amazing because it gives this really nice aesthetic, as you can see, and you can fix all of those. If you think this is way too bluish, it looks way too colorful, you can change that on Dynavision, you can play with those settings alone, but the game looks amazing, in my opinion. And again, we're not going to have any issues with the NBs, with our VRAM. Let's actually put some music. Uh, let's go for Johnny Guitar. That being said guys, this is pretty much the end of this video, on the next one I am going to install a bunch of other mods like lighting, weather mods, I hope you enjoy those series, let me know if you guys love Fallout New Vegas as much as I do, I will keep making videos about Skyrim, Fallout, Starfleet, there's so many of those, it was a dream of mine to come back and make a series about Fallout New Vegas which in my opinion I think it's the best RPG game of all time. That was the video fellow adventurers, I want to wish you happy modding, it was me Cav and next time stay tuned for part 2. Playing Fallout New Vegas or modding Fallout New Vegas really makes you wish for a nuclear winter.